In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform core blood testing, um, which is going to be a Ford ABO RH and a DAT. And for that, you're going to need your A, B, and D antiseras. So that'll be for the ABO RH. You're going to need some tubes. You're going to also need your AHG and your check cells for the DAT. And just make sure if the check cells haven't been mixed recently that you resuspend all the cells that are stuck on the bottom of the vial there. See, I got them off by mixing it. And the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is label all your tubes. So I'm going to use that tube for the suspension and then your A, B, and D antisera and your DAT and a DAT control tube. Uh, when opening a core blood specimen, they typically are clotted. And if that's the case, just be careful the clot has not stuck to the lid as you may make a mess if you pull off the lid too fast. Um, I'm making a cell suspension uh, before I add the specimen to the tubes that I have labeled here with uh, my physiological saline, 3% approximately. Um, I'm not sure that everybody does this, but this is how I typically do it. Some people might wash the cells before they distribute them, and it's just going to be one drop of cells um, into each one of the tubes. And then before you move on, you need to wash all of your specimens in um, a cell washer. And depending on your policy, it'll be three to four times. And um, hopefully you don't have to manually wash. After the washing is complete, I'm going to start with the ABORH portion. And I'm just going to add one drop of each of the antiseras into the um, corresponding tubes that I have labeled. So just one drop of the A, the B, and then finally just one drop of the D antisera. And then after this you're going to want to centrifuge your specimens, just give them a quick mix, and then go ahead and try and read them. Um, I kind of had a hard time trying to set up this agglutination viewer so that you could see, um, but this child was O positive. You can see there's zero, zero, and four plus with the D. And then the next step, we can go ahead and we can uh, work on this DAT. Um, now you're just going to add AHD to the DAT tube, and you're going to add nothing to the control tube. So just two drops of the um, AHG. Give it a quick mix, pop it in the centrifuge, and then go ahead and read your um, agglutination. Um, a negative DAT uh, will be zero, obviously, which is what I have here. Um, and then you want your DAT control to be negative as well. Um, and typically you want to look at a DAT microscopically as well. And I try to show you this. We have a tube viewer, and you can see that it's just individual cells. There's no clumps that have formed, and that's just to verify that the DAT is negative. Um, after that, reading the um, AHG, we want to add some check cells, and this is just to make sure that we wash these, um, the specimen enough. So just centrifuge, and then go ahead and get your agglutination viewer out, and then just resuspend your cells. Now you're looking for an agglutination here, and that just shows that everything went um, right with the process that we did here. And you can see there that I have agglutination, and thanks for watching.